Hey everybody, welcome to Multiplayer Vault, presented to you by Baritone Studios. I'm Sky. And I'm Evan. So this is episode zero, meet the hosts of Multiplayer Vault. So that basically this episode is just going to be us introducing ourselves and the show to you guys so you know what we're all about and what the show is going to be all about um, before we release our next, our first episode later uh, in the next few months, probably. Yeah, and so, I mean, this for our three listeners out there currently listening to this, you probably already know us. Hi, Mom. Yeah, hi, hi Mom. Um, hi, Dad. Uh, this isn't for you. You already know us. This is kind of like in the backlog, so once we are rich and famous and there's millions of listeners, everybody's going to hear this first. This is for you, listener number three million and four. Um, but first, before we get into that, let's talk about the actual podcast itself. What is Multiplayer Vault? Well, Multiplayer Vault is a deep, basically a deep dive into multiplayer video games and their lore, basically. Yeah, and as all great ideas start out, this was a brainchild of us, uh, me and Sky, and another friend who I'm sure we will all meet sometime. Um, we were just playing games, you know, doing the stuff, and we said, hey, let's do this, and then many months went by. We didn't think we were actually going to do it, but here about we are. About a year. It's, yeah, it was about a yeah, year. It's been about a year. It's, it's been a long time coming, but we're here now. And we're and we're finally doing it, and it, this is really exciting. This is my first time doing this, and it's it's really nerve wracking, but it's also very it's also very exciting. I'm loving it. Yeah, no, I mean this is the first time I've done something like this, but I could easily see this becoming a thing. So let's see what happens. Multiplayer Vault is a podcast about the lore of multiplayer games like uh destiny overwatch uh siege fortnite whatever that you don't typically associate having a a story or or any kind of universe around them but they do and we want to dig those up do the research that nobody else wants to do and get and give you guys some info about them and maybe tell you what we think or what we hate about it, or what we love about it. And so, yeah, that's basically what this show is about. Yeah, and so as for our schedule, um, we are both two very busy people. Um, some of us will still be in school while this podcast is going on, assuming that we do continue forward. Um, we are thinking, as of the start, um, just kind of a monthly basis, but then we will try and move into a bi-weekly schedule. As for episodes, we're picturing, uh, like Evan said, monthly to maybe bi-weekly in the future to where we release uh, 15 to 20 minute, maybe a little bit longer profile episodes about a game and its lore, and we'll talk about a general summary of that game and its lore. And then a few days later, we'll release a longer form, 30 to 40 minute discussion episodes where we'll talk about, like I said, what we like, what we dislike, what we think is cool. As with any good idea, we need to figure out what we're going to do with the podcast before we get there. And as you go on to those really, you know, sketchy websites, you know, 10, to 10 ways to improve your podcast... Um, it always says that you need a plan and you need consistency and stuff. Um, we are not that for the start right now. Uh, nope. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. and that's okay because we want this just to be a fun thing. You know, we want this podcast to last as long as we want it to for whoever's listening. Uh, we really want it to be something stress-free. Yeah. And, and the, the way we we're thinking about it right now is we... We want to go- take this podcast as long as we think we think we should. So basically, if we come to, let's say, 50 episodes and we think that we've covered all the major games that people like or, or care about, and if we go any farther, it would just be kind of just milking something that might not even be successful at all. Gaming, ga- gaming is a bit odd right now. It needs to get get itself together. That is a discussion for another podcast, not this one. 
Yeah, not this one, but another one that will remain nameless. You know who you are. Yeah, you know who you are. So the way we, we think of it as, that's why we named ourselves Baritone Studios and not just Multiplayer Vault, because we don't want to j- just be known forever as the guys who cover multiplayer game lore. We maybe want to expand at some point, if this even turns out to be anything. So just th- thinking ahead at least a little bit. We're going to be Rooster Teeth, but cooler. Yeah, Rooster Teeth, but um, no roosters, uh, just a bear. And our own show like Ruby. Yeah. And may- maybe not as good as Ruby, because I don't know if anything can be, but um, at least a li- as good. If you shoot for the stars, or what, how's the saying go? If you shoot for the moon and you miss, you at least you land among the stars or something. I don't know. I think you, if you hit two moons with one stone, and you take the path less traveled, I think that that's where, that's what you're thinking about. Two moons in the hand equals one success in the sky. Equals one Robert Frost Pine in the bush path. Yeah, that works. That's, that sounds right. That sounds exactly right. <laughs> yeah, so now, who is this show for? It is for you, listener. It is for any video game lovers. Um, you don't have to play a lot of multiplayer games. Um, you know, if you even just like some good storytelling, we will dig into what makes these games good, what makes them bad. Uh, if you just like opinion shows, welcome. Evan, I think we should talk a little bit more about ourselves, just so the listeners can get a little bit more acquainted with us and our relationship. Yeah, sure. So I will start. Um, I'm Evan. I am a music composer. Currently, I am finishing up my last year at college, I'm soon about to go into the real world. Um, my life goal is to write music for video games. I'd love to start a studio someday or you know any really small closely knit um company like you know maybe baritone studios who knows any chance that i can get to work very closely with a uh, close-knit group of people that are very cool and like the same things that i do and i am sky and that's it no but i'm i'm a student as well and I I like to write. I like to re- I like to read. I like to I like to do this podcast now. And I would like to at some point be some kind of writer, whether it be novelist, journalist, screenwriter, etc. Really anything that involves the craft of writing and storytelling. And I would just like to do that for the rest of my life. And no one can stop me because I want to follow my dreams. Right, Evan. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, so Sky, what brought you into the <laughs> uh, bro, well, it was my dad. Uh, he was the he was the guy that introduced me to video games. I mean, sure, I may have been exposed to video games before. Like I might have seen Mario somewhere around, or I've seen an arcade game or whatever. But I really start was brought into video games by my dad when he showed me. Age of Empires 3, and that was my first game that I ever, that I played ever when I was about six years old. What about you, Evan? What what brought you into gaming? Um, Santa. Uh, no, I'm not lying either. (laughs) Um, when it, when I was around, oh, I would have been five or six. I'm old. Um, I specifically (laughs) remember waking up on a Christmas morning with my older brother and, you know, we got our usual goods, um. But then my mom said that there was something else outside. I look outside on the front porch, and there is a trash bag. And in that trash bag was a old PlayStation 2. I mean, it was new at the time, but it was a PlayStation 2 with two games in it. One was for my older brother, and one was for me. The one for my older brother was the old Lego Star Wars original saga and the one for me was the Cars uh, 2006 video game, the open world one where you could race. It was really awesome. That's awesome. I I had some previous, you know, tampering with games, those old, like, 
computer Tonka games and like, you know, the deer hunt or whatever. Um, but I was like way young. I didn't really understand what I was doing. Those two games, Cars and Lego Star Wars really, I think were my start. Although they weren't the biggest games I got into, but they did pave the foundation. That's great. So what, what was your first multiplayer game? That's that's a real question because that's what we're talking about on this podcast. I, I guess if darn, darn it, it's in the name. <laughs> yeah, no. So for <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad Gummin Evan, ah! good one job. <laughs> no, um. So for multiplayer, if we are being technical, it was Halo Three. That was my first real video game that I got into. Um, and just a little backstory, the music is what really got me into the Halo series anyway, and is the entire reason I got into music as a career. Um, so I would say Halo 3, but the first multiplayer game that I truly played as multiplayer was Halo Reach. Um, and I played that for many, many years, more than I probably should have. I should have been using that to study. Um, but hey, you know, we live and we learn. Hindsight is twenty twenty. So how about you? Well, I guess, yeah, technically my first multiplayer capable game was the first one I played Age of Empires 3, but the first one I actually played multiplayer was uh, Halo 4, the way, all the way back in 2012. Wow, that was such a long time. It was 10 years ago, almost. And, um, oh my god. But, um, yeah, I, I played the, the crap out of Halo 4, and, um... And then I, I sh- for some reason I shifted to Halo Reach, and played that, and that's where I made most of my first. That's where I made f- my first online friends, and it's also where I got my first uh, like online trauma, if you could call it that. Yeah, no. See, like for me, when I was playing Halo Reach, I just played by myself. I was online, but I didn't make any friends. I didn't really. The first, see, I have so many layers. I'm like an onion. <laughs> Um, <laughs> my first game that I like really communicate and talked with other people. Cause I never had a headset. I would just play on the TV, you know, blaring and my parents were like, I haven't showed up. It's 4am. I didn't actually stay. <laughs> um, no, but my first real game that I like talked to people was probably Minecraft. And that was like late middle school and essentially all of high school was where I made some pretty good friends and even some of them that I keep in uh, touch with today. But, um, Hey, this is for all you old people. Video game friends all you old are real. At at twenty two. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. There's such a stigma nowadays yeah. of yeah, yeah. Like, oh, they're online. You can't really. I mean, look at look at me, look at me in the eyes right now, Sky. Yeah, the uh, yeah. yeah. I'm looking right at my computer screen right mm-hmm. now. Yeah, yeah. You see these eyes? These are the eyes of an online friend. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm the I'm the realest friend you'll ever have, Evan, and don't you forget it. So speaking of being online friends, <laughs> I think we should talk about how we met, Evan, because I feel like that's if this podcast turns out to be any kind of anything, I think that's going to be a big question that a lot of people are going to ask. So why don't we get it out of the way right now? And what do you recall about our first meeting? I have to go into detail for this question because this will be written on a Wikipedia page someday. Yeah, when, when when we're both billionaires and we and I bought you out of the company and um and then I'm just a pretty face. And and people will be wondering what happened in 2022 with that fateful day when Evan and Sky started the Multiplayer Vault podcast. So what I remember, it all started this is the long long answer. 2020 i actually joined the finish the fight podcast crew as an assistant writer eventually working my way up to um, being the composer and doing some other things um i'm now a mod on there and so is sky um i met him through sky sky was a longtime listener before i actually met the group and you know i was i never really joined discord or anything this is my first time being on discord i joined the finish the fight uh discord and we just started chatting it up, you know, broing out, and then eventually uh, a few game nights that they held later, um, I was just kind of regularly playing with Sky and a few other uh, randos. Um, yeah, they're not worth mentioning. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're not here. They're not worth mentioning. No, and so we started playing a group of us, and we even still, we still play today. It's been, I mean, over two years now, 
I'm just um, actually a year and a half actually i just i remember sky being like the the kind of cool kid i, I didn't really i was not like, really i was like say that i was like this this, <laughs> this dude's a bear like, i'm talking to a bear like that's awesome yeah not like the fetish bear but like the the animal the what the animal no before that the are we gonna cut this <laughs> I, I don't know Cut the cut the, the fed it. <laughs> no, I thought it was good. <laughs> cut, cut. Okay, <laughs> you know, like you never heard of of like the 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 big big fat hairy dude bear. No, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> I feel like that says more about me than it does you. Um, I, I just I, I just get it a lot. I don't. Whatever. Want to know? For, forget it. Forget it. Don't look it up. So what do you remember from that fateful evening? Well, um, I remember Finish the Fight was doing a, uh, a drunk script reading of Halo 2. And, and that was when, and amidst the alcohol and the really bad, uh, I don't know, like condiment shots or whatever they were doing. Uh, they, it's a blur. Yeah, they, that was a wild night um, watching that stream. But they they announced you being a a, a researcher and and co writer of that podcast, and I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, I w- I was actually really jealous at first because I asked them a few times if they needed help or anything with research, and they were like, nah, we're fine. And then they ha- then they hired you, and um and I remember the first thing I said to you, like at you was um I think I called you a slave. <laughs> that was, I think that was the first thing I ever said to you. And then the the rest is history. Yeah, no, I think that <laughs> might have been oh, it was because Alex had initially made it clear to everyone that I was not being paid. Yeah. And um I I still work for them today. I am not currently paid. It is a it is it all comes from my love. Yeah. I have lots of love to give. <laughs> uh yeah and so i naturally was like mm, cool this kid just called me a slave welcome to discord yeah this um, 11 year old kid just about <laughs> i'm actually like 76 in barriers so that's fine so yeah and with that out of the way i think it is about time we start wrapping up so let's look to the future sky what are we thinking for our first episode if you have made it this far if my memory serves me correctly, the Fortnite new season came out semi recently. So that is why we are going to start our first uh game coverage on Fortnite and its lore and its story. And with that folks, uh this is the end of episode zero Meet the Hosts. I'm Sky. And I'm Evan. And this is Multiplayer Vault.